Hey guys, this is Aaron with 3D Printer OS. Today I'm going to show you how to make a Raspberry Pi image you can use for uh, di basically disconnecting your computer from either PC or Mac or however you were connected to your 3D printer before. Um, one of the awesome things about Raspberry Pis is they're super cheap. You can get them for like $25, $35 and the Pi 2 is also coming out. Um, to start with, for building the Raspberry Pi image, you're going to head to cloud.3dprinteros.com backslash printing. Or what you could do is just head to basically click on your printers tab once you're in 3D Printer OS. From there, we're going to click Add New Printer. And I'm going to click My Local Printer Connected to My PC. And then you can see here, you can request a Raspberry Pi image. We have the BMB Plus. When the 2 comes out, we'll support that as well. I just don't have one of yet, so we need to test. So I'm going to select that. I'm going to hit Request Raspberry Pi Image. Now, what's happening is you're going to get an email with the download link for the actual Raspberry Pi image. That should come in a few minutes, give it about five. Um, and when that comes, we'll, we'll deal with that in a moment. We're going to close this for now. And what I'm actually going to do is show you um, the way I like to write my Raspberry Pi image to SD card. Um, this program by Ray uh, Vigeon, I probably butchered that name, I apologize, is super easy and super helpful. Um, and then what we're going to do today is download it and use this to actually do our install. So what I like to do, because this thing is sometimes kind of hard to use, is uh, make it a little easier on myself. So I'm going to it to drop it to desktop, drag it to desktop, and then I'm going to rename it Raspberry Pi. You'll see why later. And this folder right here is what we're going to use to do our installing later. All right, so we've downloaded the file from our email. Um, what we're going to want to do is expand that. Um, so we actually have the .img file because we're going to need that. And what we're going to want to do is rename it because this is way too complicated to type in for the install. So I'm going to call this one 3dprinteros.img. I'm going to drag this to my desktop um, because that's where we put the Raspberry Pi folder. Drag it over. And we're going to want to take that 3 dprinteros.img and move that into the Raspberry Pi folder. This is important because this allows us to do the install um, with, the, with the program we had downloaded before. Now what we're going to want to do is actually open up our terminal. So applications, terminal, open that up. Let me drag this over for you guys. And we're going to start with by typing uh, command desktop because that's where we moved that Raspberry Pi folder, and now Command Raspberry Pi. Now this is straight from Ray's instructions. We're going to type in sudo install in the name of the image folder, whatever you call it. So we called it 3 dprinteros.img and hit enter. Um, you're going to need to enter your administrative password. Uh, this is always the hardest part. Um, seems like I did that one wrong. Let me try again here. Okay, got it. Now this is super, super, super important. You can really screw your computer up if you type in the wrong disk to write this to. Um, you do not want to do that. That's just the bottom line. So for us, the image for the Raspberry Pi is actually number 5. So I'm going to type in 5 and hit enter. Okay, alright, that took a few minutes, but as you can see, we're all done. All we need to do now is uh, X out of this terminal window. Make sure it's been ejected. We can X out of this. It's time to take this Raspberry Pi and connect it to the printer. All right, so the Pi image is ready. I plugged it into my Ultimaker 2. Last thing we really need to do before we get started is just refresh the screen. Um, sometimes it automatically does it, but refresh anyways, it's easier. Um, let me close out some of these other windows or these other computers so you can see which one I'm working with here. And there's my Ultimaker 2, ready to go. Um, I'm going to select my camera that I plugged into the Pi as well, and uh, actually I'm going to change the name as well, uh, just so it's clear. I'm going to call this the Raspberry Pi Ultimaker. So then what I want to do is click Save, and there you go, Raspberry Pi Ultimaker is ready. And in honor of uh, the Raspberry Pi image being created, I've got a Raspberry Pi logo ready to go for printing. So I'm going to head on over to my projects, open this up. And that's Slice It. So let me select the Ultimaker 2. And I'm going to go with PLA 210, just because I don't need it that hot with the thing I'm using. I'm going to go Light Infill, because it doesn't really matter. And uh, Layer Thickness, I'm going to go 0.2, just because, you know, Raspberry Pi is pretty durable. 
Um, now that that's sliced and ready to go, all I'm going to need to do here is click print in a second. Click print, and I'm going to send it to my Raspberry, 2 Ulti Raspberry Pi Ultimaker. I'm going to continue this in the background, but this is how you create a Raspberry Pi image and make your first print.